Hey everybody, so it's the day before the start of the NHL season, and I want to talk about rivalries, particularly some un more under-the-radar rivalries that don't get talked about as much as the major ones in the NHL. We all know about the major NHL rivalries, Boston and Montreal, Calgary and Edmonton, Pittsburgh and Philadelphia, matchups like that that are just traditional huge rivalries between teams that absolutely hate each other and always have always will and and those are you know your traditional rivalry games and in, in the games that everyone gets up for and wants to see these are some more you know under the radar rivalries that either aren't traditional rivalries or are you know matchups that have may have been a little more dormant over the last few years haven't had a ton of action between these teams but I think really have a chance to pick up this year and become really heated, fun games to watch this year. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to be talking about, you know, the, the major ones that everyone knows about. Like Vegas and San Jose right now is just absolutely out of control. Those two teams hate each other. And it's fantastic, but those are that's like a major rivalry. These are ones that I think haven't been talked about as much but do deserve some attention, and I think this season particularly are really going to take off. So let's get into it with number five. Um, I have this rivalry, which is, is a rivalry and has been in the past, but I has, hasn't been that, that heated the last couple of years, I think really starts to pick up again, and that is Vancouver versus Calgary. I think both of those teams are going to be right next to each other in the standings, which is going to be a big push for this. Um, they're going to be competing for one of the last playoff spots in the Western Conference, and Vancouver and Calgary are going to go at it this year. They're tr Canadian rivals, uh, they're division rivals, and with with them being, I think, pretty close as far as team-wise and where, the, the, where they'll be in the standings, I think that this rivalry really kicks up a notch this year from where it's been the last few years. And Vancouver and Calgary kind of comes back as one of, a, one of the bigger rivalries in the NHL. Number four, moving to the Central Division. And this is one that had really kicked off last year. Um, Nashville versus St. Louis. Again, St. Louis is the defending Stanley Cup champions. Nashville, I think, is going to be one of the top teams in the league this season. Um, they're in the same division. They're going to, I think, both be fighting for first place in that division all season long. And last year, they, they played each other five times. There were three fights in those five games last year, which isn't a ton and doesn't sound like a whole lot, but they played very heated games. Um, and in this day and age where, quite frankly, there isn't that much fighting, having three fights against the same team you know, it kind of, you know, generally that, that shows that there is some animosity between these two teams. And I think it's going to pick up even more this year. It was a pretty good rivalry last year. I think it's really going to pick up this year just because of the where they're going to be really close in the standings, the, the divisional aspect. And then, you know, Nashville, first round exit in the playoffs last year, St. Louis, Stanley Cup champions last year. Um, I think it's going to be a really fun time when these two teams meet up, and they're going to be going at it every time they play. Number three, we're going to move to the Eastern Conference for this one. Uh, we have an Atlantic Division matchup and an interstate rivalry, T Tampa Bay versus Florida. Florida, I have making the playoffs this year. Florida, this is a huge, huge year for the Panthers. Adding Bobrovsky, bringing in Joel Quenville to coach, adding Anton Strawman. Florida, it's Florida's time to go to the next level and become a playoff team. Tampa Bay, one of the top teams in the entire league. They're in the same division. They're in the same state. This is a rivalry that at times gets very, very nasty, and then at other times really has nothing going on. And I think lately... Tampa Bay has been near the top of the league the last few years. Florida hasn't been a playoff team in a few years. This rivalry's kind of been dormant over the last few last few seasons. I think this year, with Florida getting better and climbing in that Atlantic Division, I think this rivalry really starts to pick up again. And if Florida snags a wild card spot and Tampa Bay is in first place again. This could potentially be a first-round playoff matchup between Tampa and Florida. So 
I think that this rivalry really kicks into an another gear this year and starts to be back on the rise. Number two, we have a Metropolitan Division rivalry that I think uh, is going to be really, really good this year. It was very good last year, actually, but I think it's going to be even better this year, especially with the two teams trying involved trying to go from being non-playoff teams to playoff teams this season. There's a lot on the line when these teams play. It's the New York Rangers versus the New Jersey Devils. Last year, there were four games between these two teams. There were four fights between these two teams, including the last game between them of the season when they met. It was a three-fight game. I forget if it was at the beginning of April or at the end of March, but at, towards the end of the season, there was a three-fight game between these teams. And this this rivalry has kind of not been a huge deal over the last few years, but uh, it, it started to pick up certainly last season. And I really think that this year it's going to take off because you have the Rangers adding Panarin, adding Truba, trying to become a playoff team. You have the Devils drafting Jack Hughes, adding P.K. Subban. They're trying to become a playoff team. There's going to be a lot on the line when these two teams play. They're going to be fighting for position in the standings all season long. I think they're going to be, you know, really heated matchups between these two teams. And that Metro division as a whole, you get a lot of heated matchups with there's any interdivisional game between the between any of those teams. But I think Devils and Rangers is really going to to, to kick off you know big time this year as a rivalry in the NHL and this is again one of those rivalries that sometimes it's really really on and then other times it kind of goes away I think this is going to be a year where it is really really on and finally that leaves us to number one uh the Pittsburgh Penguins and we know about their traditional rival in Philadelphia and we know that them in Washington have gone at it over the last few years but I think a new team has real is going to rise as a big rival of the Penguins this year, and it's largely based on the playoffs last year. The New York Islanders interdivisional matchup, you know, divisional rivalry, v close in the standings last season. They met in the first round of the playoffs last season, and I think. That was a pretty nasty playoff series. There weren't any fights between the two teams, any actual fights. There was a lot of scrums, a lot of after-the-whistle stuff. That was a fairly physical and nasty playoff series between the Islanders and Penguins in the first round last year. And I think that that just sets the stage to carry over into this season. And I think that when these two teams play, they are going to be at each other's throats. So... That, to me, is the number one rivalry. Really, one and two could be switched. I think both of those are really going to be heated this year and be big-time you know, step-ups as far as their, their particular rivalries go. I um, think that the Penguins and Islanders are going to go at it. I think that the Rangers and Devils are going to go at it. Um, and, and those will probably be the two that I watch the closest this year to just see how nasty it can get. Um, but Lightning and, and Panthers as well, I think with the standing situation and the Panthers getting better, is going to really pick up. Nashville and St. Louis are going to be at each other's throats all year going for first place in the Central Division. And then Vancouver and Calgary, I think, are going to be fighting for playoff spots with each other. So um, I think these are these are five more under-the-radar rivalries, not rivalries that are being talked about all the time the same way Boston, Toronto Calgary and Edmonton, Boston, Montreal, Pittsburgh and Philly. Those rivalries get talked about all the time. These don't, but I think these could be really, really good matchups this year and really fun games to watch. So with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description below. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.